How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we have the last battle with the Veluza team. Hopefully it goes well. If you want to try the team out, use the code at the top right corner of the screen. There's also a copy and paste of the team in the description down below. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And with that being said, let's jump into the team preview. Okay, today we have a battle versus Chris, also known as Pokemaster88 in the Discord server. You should definitely join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. There's a link in the description down below. Look at his team, he's got a Frostlass, Lycanroc, Midnight, a Hunchcrow, Houndoom, Altaria, and a Zangoose. Pretty powerful, gotta watch out for the Zangoose, but we do have a Stone Journey for that, so as long as we keep Stone Journey around, we should be golden. Um, hazards are probably going to come up by the Lycanroc, they probably lead with the Lycanroc to be fair, so I'm actually thinking about leading with Stonehenge just because it basically counters that lead. Um, they could lead with Frostlass, in which case we just Stone Edge it in the face, um, because that'll probably taunt us as well. Gotta watch out for gotta watch out for Destiny Bond on that frost last though, so we'll be careful of that later on down the line. And the battle begins. So Chris over there is gonna lead off with the frost last as we expected, as we led off with Henge, the Stone Journey. So this thing's probably gonna want to either burn us or stealth rock us. So I'm 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 kind of debating switching out into something else. And we don't have guts on Heracross, so we can't absorb that burn. We can go into Shakira. Shakira can easily take a hit from this thing if he wants to go for an Ice Beam or whatever. But typically, they usually go for um, a Taunt or something like that. So I'm going to go straight for the Stone Edge right now just to get some damage off. As they do go for the Spikes, which is interesting. So Spikes, um, it's, well, it's not that interesting. I mean, Frostlass do carry Spikes typically. But the ones that I keep seeing are like, you know, um, Destiny Bond with Will-O-Wisp and stuff like that. So... That's, that's, that's awesome. So they are Focus Sash, as you would expect. They get the Curse Body on the Stone Edge, which is really a shame because it means we cannot touch this thing now. Um, I'm going to go straight for the Stealth Rocks right now because I just want to get the Rocks up. They've got the Hunchco, they've got the Houndoom, they've got the Altaria. All things weak to Stealth Rocks. They go for a Destiny Bond. See, I told you the Destiny Bond would be coming. I told you. I told you. No one listens to me, though. No one ever listens to me. So the Destiny Bond comes through. Um, we don't have to worry about that, though, because obviously we can just switch out now into Shakira. Um, alternatively, we could go Toad School. Depends whether they're, um, no, because Ice, Ice Beam's gonna hurt. Hurt. It's gonna hurt like mad. Um, I believe Salazzle outspeeds, so we should be able to just go into Shakira real quick right now. As they do withdraw the Frostlass, which is an interesting play. Um, they're gonna go into, what, Altaria? Probably defogging with the Altaria, to be fair. Makes a lot of sense. So, Altaria comes in. It's gonna be Heavy Duty Boots, which is great. Um, for us. No, for them. Sorry, not for us. We go into Shakira who can now safely go for a Sludge Bomb on this thing, get some damage off as they go for the Defog. So I'm going to go for the Sludge Bomb real quick. Um, there we go, Sludge Bomb comes through. Does not a lot of damage, and they get the Poison as well, but they have Natural Cure, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Um, they go for a Hurricane. Oh, okay, but they miss. Okay, so this is a good indication that we should get on out of here, because Salazzle does not want to take that. Salazzle does not want to take that at all. Um, we don't want to take a Hurricane, that's for sure. So they probably go for a Defog right now. We've got a couple options. We could go Toad School, get a Spore off on something on our team. Um, alternatively, we could go Magnezone right now. I think I'm going to go Magnezone. I think Magnezone is a good shout. If they're going to be a Hurricane Altaria, that makes sense. So we're going into uh, Magnezone. We can resist its dual stabs um, just fine. Spikes are going to dig in, which is a shame, but what can you do about that? They go for another Hurricane, so I'm guessing they're not Defog. Um, or they just don't care about the stealth rocks, one of the two. So Poison's going to dig in, which is great. We are analytic, and they have no ground type. So we get a free kill right now if we go for a Volt Switch. That's exactly what I'm going to do. They withdraw the Altaria, as you would expect. And they're going to go into what? The Frostlass. Makes a lot of sense. Frostlass coming in. Gets the stealth rock damage, which is going to take it out, which is great for us. But we don't get to Volt Switch now, which is a shame. But what can you do about that? Not a lot. So Volt Switch doesn't come through, unfortunately. It's going to fail like a... Like an idiot. Um, and they probably go into the Houndoom now. Yeah, in comes the Houndoom. Nice and fire type. We do have an option here. We could go for the Terrestrialization. I'm pretty sure we're fire, but I'll double check that. Um, no, we're ice. It's the next one that's fire. The next team. I use Magnezone again in the next team. So, um, Houndoom's in. We have to be afraid of this thing's fire blast. I mean, it does a lot to the whole team, to be honest with you. And then Dark Pulse finishes off the loser. Um, I think best bet is... Expecting the fire type move, we're going Stone Journey. I think that's the best bet. So we'll go in Stone Journey real quick. There we go. Nice and powerful Stone Journey switch in. Right, why not? Eh? Why not? Eh? Why not? Eh? Um, as Stone Edge does a lot of damage to their whole team. Now Stone Journey has an unbelievably high attack for what it is. 
um, and a really low special defense. Um, so if we assume they're going to go for another flamethrower now to finish us off, um, we kind of want to heat this around for late. Nah, we just need a, we need a free switch in. Let's go for the body press just on the off chance we live. We go for a flamethrower. We're not going to live that though as down goes the henge. So unfortunately, we didn't have a good switch into the Hound Doom right there. Otherwise, I would have done it. Um, best bets, Veluza, Terra Water. Or, no, we can just go into the, the Heracross real quick and go for a Stone Edge. I think that's the best bet. So we'll go Heracross real quick and we'll go for the Stone Edge. They have to switch out um, because otherwise they lose the Hound Doom. And Hound Doom does really well against our team. Um, so, with that in mind, let's go for a Stone Edge and hope for the best. That's all I can think to do. All I can think to do is go for the Stone Edge and hope for the best. I really feel like they're going to go into Altaria or something here, though. They actually stay in and get battered by the Stone Edge, which is really crazy to me because Heracross does so much against their team, to be honest with you. Heracross does loads against their team. So we are in a very... Uh, not, 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 not a bad situation. We're in a very good situation, but we are locked into Stone Edge, and there's no chance I'm going to hit another four Stone Edges in a row. There's just no chance whatsoever. So in comes the Lycanroc. Lycanroc's a good switch here. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. I love shiny Lycanroc. It's so cool. So cool. So cool. So with that in mind, we can expect a Stone Edge here or something along those lines. Um, I'm thinking Heracross is going to be the MVP. Her Heracross is our wing con because it's Choice Scarf with close combat, and that does wonders against their entire team. So... We gotta be careful though, because obviously Zangus guts, guts boosted quick attack or KOs after a close combat. Um, so we gotta be careful of that. We've gotta be careful of the sucker punch from the Honch Crow. Um, I'm thinking about what to switch in here. And I'm thinking Toad School. I'm thinking Toad School is the best switch. Because it can take a stone edge like no problem. Well it probably will it'll take a decent bit of chip damage. It's gonna sting a little bit, but I'm pretty sure Toad School can take a stone edge, no problem. Um, as they do go for said stone edge. And you got to remember that Lycanroc has no guard as well, so that's always going to hit. So that's a shame that they managed to get that off. Um, it does we do resist it, but it's, it did nothing. It did absolutely nothing. So I'm going to go for a knockoff just to get rid of this thing's item. As they do go for a Swords Dance, which is absolutely terrifying right now. Absolutely terrifying. So we go for a knockoff. That's going to knock off their item, whatever they're holding. Muscle Band, interesting choice of item. So I could have gone for a Spore there. But I really didn't think they would... I thought they'd just attack us, to be honest with you. Let's go for the Earth Power anyway. They go for a Trailblaze, which is going to knock us out, unfortunately. And it's going to boost their speed. So that is terrifying. That is now terrifying. Oh, how the tables have turned. Oh, how the tables have turned. So, we've got a couple of options. Not really. Magnazone could potentially live... Um, a well, it depends if they're gonna have close combat or not. They've got Swords Dance, Trailblaze, Stone Edge, and they probably I don't think it gets Earthquake, I think it gets Drill Run now. Um, oh no, it's midday that gets Drill Run and Dusk Form, not the Midnight Form. Midnight Form doesn't get Drill Run, I don't think. I think our best bet is if Heracross outspeeds here. Um, if they have Sucker Punch, we can KO this thing with um, our um, we can KO this thing with our Magnazone, no problem. But if they... Whew, let's see if we outspeed. If we don't outspeed, we lost. If we don't outspeed, we lost. I'm pretty sure we outspeed, though. The We do outspeed, which is amazing. Close combat is going to come through and KO the Lycanroc, which is just fantastic. So um, I think we actually only outsped there if they were adamant. So I'm assuming they're adamant. Um, although Lycanroc and Dusk is not... Uh, Midnight is not the fastest out of the three. That's for sure. I think it's only like base 80 or something like that. And I'm pretty sure Heracross is 86 or something like that. So... I think we are sped by a good little margin right there. In comes the Altaria. So Altaria is obviously a good one there. Um, we'll, we'll just mark off what we've taken out. So there we go. That's down. Um, Altaria is a good one there. I'm surprised they didn't just go hard Altaria. They probably thought they were going to outspeed, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go Magnazone. Uh, Magnazone can definitely take this thing on, no problem. Um, Heracross is definitely our win con, though. So we've got to be careful with it. Definitely got to be careful with it. So we're going to Magnazone, get some spikes damage, which is unfortunate as they do go for the Roost. So that's absolutely fine by me. Um, this means that I'm going to get a nice and powerful analytic boosted Volt Switch off. I'm actually thinking of going for a Thunderbolt instead um, if it's analytic boosted because it'll do more damage to the Altaria. So let's go for the Thunderbolt real quick. There we go. We actually outspeed, which is surprising as that Thunderbolt does nearly no, no damage at all. So that's a shame. I'm, I'm thinking about it and I should have gone for the Terra Ice. I should have gone for the Terra Ice right now. Um, they just can't seem to hit that hurricane though, which is hilarious to me. So I'm going to go for that Thunderbolt again, try and get some damage off on them as we do go for the Thunderbolt. Will it KO from here? 
Nearly. Nearly gets the KO, and we get the paralysis as well, which is crazy. Watch him get fully paralyzed as well. Oh, we, we called it! We called it! The Hax is on our side this game. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So, Thunderbolt's going to come through right now. That's going to be able to take out the Altaria, which is absolutely amazing. Again, my misplay there was not terrestrializing into an Ice type and going for a Terra Blast. I should have I should have done that, to be honest with you. So, um, we probably could have taken that Altaria out a lot sooner if we had. Um, so, in comes the Honchkrow. Honchkrow can probably revenge kill us with the Booker Punch. Um, it could be terrestrialization. We haven't terrestrialized yet, I don't believe. So, um, I've got a couple of options. I can sack off the loser. Go into Heracross and go from there. Or do we need Magnezone now? Do we need Magnezone? I don't think we need Magnezone necessarily. So they go for a Tailwind, which is absolutely fine by me. Um, Tailwind is unfortunate, but what can you do? We go for a Thunderbolt. It's going to do massive damage to the Honchko, taking it out, which is amazing. And now it's all a matter of whether Zangus can pull this back for them. It all comes down to whether Zangus can pull this back for them, because Zangus will outspeed and KO us with close combat right now. Zangus will outspeed us and KO us with close combat. So, um, Magnezone, we'll just let you go down to the close combat, which is absolutely fine by me. We are max HP, so we might actually take it since it's not boosted by Guts yet. As they go for the close combat, that's going to be able to easily take out our Magnezone. No crits needed. No crits needed. Um, Zangus is a beast, though. Let's, let's be real. Like, Zangus is a real beast. So, the Tailwind is up, which is going to boost the speed by double, which is a shame. And they are Guts boosted, or they... Poison boosted, toxic boosted, or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. Um, our best bet is to sack things off. So I'm going to go into our Bastion over here. I'm going to go into Bastion over here, get some spikes damage, which is unfortunate, as they can just go for a free um, facade. So I'm going to let them do that. Um, and I, I just, I, our best bet is to stall out this Tailwind. They go for the facade, that's going to take us out, no problem. Down goes the loser. The loser. The loser, the loser. The loser, the loser. So anyway, Toxic's going to dig into the Zangus, putting it on a bit of a clock, which is good to, for us. Going to go into Slazzle now as fodder as well, trying to get rid of these um, Tailwind turns. That's all, the, that's, that's all I can really do here. So we're going to get hurt by Spikes and all that wonderful stuff. Um, I'm thinking about Terrestrialization. No, we don't Terrestrialize here. Let's just go for the Sludge Bomb just in case. They go for a Quick Attack, which isn't going to be able to KO us. I'm guessing they forgot about the Tailwind. But we're able to get the KO anyway, and that's going to be the game. I'm pretty sure Tailwind petted out that turn, um, the turn after Salazzle went down, and then we could just come in with Heracross and KO. So even if they did take out Salazzle there, I'm pretty sure we won that. So that's absolutely amazing. So anyway, that was the game. Thank you for the battle, Chris. That was pretty fun. Um, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.